I'm Staff Sergeant E.L. Craig. Friday, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates met with the airmen of the 4th Fighter Wing at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. Seaman, senior Airman Stephanie Berg has more on Gates' visit. It's a great honor for military personnel to meet someone as prestigious as the Secretary of Defense. Seymour Johnson Air Force Base played host to Secretary Robert M. Gates, who spoke to the airmen about a number of topics, like the war in Afghanistan. We will begin the drawdown in Afghanistan uh, in July, um, but at the same time, uh, we recognize, and it was recognized at the NATO summit last fall in Lisbon, uh, that we don't expect the transition to uh, Afghan security lead to be completed until uh, the end of 2014. For one airman in the audience, some of Secretary Gates' remarks really stood out. Sustenance Just the fact that the military was the, the most important thing and everything that he's done for us has been his greatest accomplishment as Secretary of Defense because he's got so many other jobs and just that we're at the front of his mind all the time. Secretary Gates presented his coin to over 300 personnel, thanking everyone for their hard work and dedication to service. Senior Airman Stephanie Bird, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, North Carolina. The Navy christened its newest guided missile destroyer, pre-commissioning unit Michael Murphy, Saturday in Bath, Maine. The ship honors Medal of Honor recipient Lieutenant Michael Murphy, the Navy SEAL that was killed in Afghanistan in 2005, as he led a team of lean to a team to hunt down a key Taliban leader. He sacrificed his own safety, running into the open to call for help. While being shot at repeatedly, Murphy provided his unit's location and requested immediate support. We share an acute loss and a common bond, but take special comfort knowing that those lost were doing something important and something they loved. Lieutenant Murphy's mother, Marine, is the ship's sponsor and had the honor of breaking the champagne bottle across the ship's bow. The first eight of 18 pioneering women arrived at the U.S. Navy base in Groton, Connecticut Monday. Female officers are to be the first class of women selected for submarine assignments. Last year, the Navy lifted its ban on female submariners. Today, First Lady Michelle Obama announced three new initiatives of the Let's Move campaign aimed directly at military families. They include free gym memberships to families of deployed troops, plus one million hours of free personal training. And finally, the President's Council of Fitness, Sports and Nutrition is committed to doing lectures. When air crews go TDY with aircraft to support missions worldwide, they need a little help making their way around unfamiliar flight lines. Staff Sergeant Jason Armstrong introduces us to a team at Aviano Air Base dedicated to assisting visiting air crews. For any military base, station, or wing, readiness is a key characteristic of mission success. Being prepared to receive and assist visiting or new aircraft is the job of transient alert. Just like new personnel can be unfamiliar with a base, air crews can be unfamiliar with a flight line. That's where transient alert steps in to assist. They haven't been here before, so we need to make sure they're set up for success uh, to drop off cargo, personnel, or whatever it is their mission is. It could be a DV until they're getting ready to depart. Transient alert is basically a point of contact for guest air crews, providing locations on the flight line to park aircraft, unload, and gear up for departure. Senior Airman Lee is TDY Brown, from Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina, and has jumped right into supporting Aviano's mission. You judge the base off the personnel and the attitudes and the mindsets, and just getting to know, just, you know, on the flight line side of it, you know, everyone's pretty much professional. They know their job, they're here to do their job, you know, and they're getting the job done. Something I discovered while visiting Transient Alert is their staff is comprised solely of crew chiefs. There are basic fundamentals that we have in our training that allow us to recover, launch, service, change minor components on airframes that uh, are you know, coming into this space that need some help. With their experience and the collaboration of permanent party and TDY members, Aviano's Transient Alert Team will ensure the 31st Fighter Wing will be ready to support mission needs around the globe. Staff Sergeant Jason Armstrong, Aviano Air Base, Italy. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, Wounded Warriors on Wheels will show you scenes from an annual ride to raise awareness. But first, we head downrange to learn about a gunshot detection system that's helping service members in the field.